Hello. Now in our series of parts of speech with reference to verbs, we shall now deal with tenses through this presentation. So let's proceed. What are verb tenses? Well, verb tenses are nothing but the time of an action. It is a form taken by a verb. Actually, a verb takes a particular structure or a form and it indicates the time of action. So when we speak, we have to see what is the time of action that was performed and accordingly we should use the tenses. So verb tenses are nothing but that form of verb that indicates the time of action. Now let's see what I was referring to when I said the time of action. Now there is a timeline here wherein I have put up some years. 2020 is the time frame when we are here right now. 2016 and 2024. So 2020 is the present year. 2016 is the past and 2024 is the future time. Okay. Now there are other terms also which signify the past, present and the future. For example, the now. Present means the now. Whatever is happening now is the present tense. What happened then or before that becomes the past tense. And whatever would happen after or later becomes a future tense. Another way of looking at it is today what happens will be the present tense. Yesterday would be past and tomorrow is the future. These are different time frames or time references that I have given. Now, if this is enough to understand the tenses, we shall now proceed to see how it is applicable in English grammar. There are three main types of tenses, namely the present tense, the past tense and the future tense. And in each tense, there are different subtypes. Now, what are the different subtypes? The simple form, that is a simple present, simple past, simple future. Similarly, we have the present, we have the progressive or the continuous, which is simple progressive, past progressive, present progressive, past progressive and future progressive. Now, this is perfect tense. The third type is the perfect tense, wherein you have the present perfect, past perfect, and future perfect. And then the last type is the perfect progressive in which you have the present perfect progressive, the past perfect progressive and the future perfect progressive. So these four are also seen, are seen in all or each of the three types of tenses. That means we have in all 12 types of tenses. Now we shall see how these three different tenses would be seen with reference to a particular verb that is to draw. In that we are going to see especially under each type of tense how the other four subtypes are seen with reference to the same verb. So now we shall see how it will look with reference to the simple present tense. The simple present tense looks like this. They draw good pictures. So the verb draw is used as it is with reference to the subject. Okay, so they draw good pictures. Now let us look at the progressive continuous tense, the present progressive or present continuous tense. They are drawing good pictures. Now in this, if you see, there is the present form of to be that is are. That's a present form of to be, which is are. Then the verb takes the form drawing, which is the present participle of the verb to draw. It is drawing. The ing shows the progressive. Therefore, it is the present participle of the verb to draw. Let's see the next thing. That is the perfect tense. In this perfect tense, if you see, they have. Please note. The perfect tense always takes the present or uh, the form of the verb to have. It could be present or past depending. Now, this is a present tense. So it will take the present form of to have, that is have. And then if you see this word that it's not drawing, drawing would be present participle. It is drawn, which is the past participle of the verb. 
to draw. Okay, so this is the past participle and not the present participle. Present participle would be ing, but here past participle is drawn. Okay, now we see the last type of tense and that is the perfect progressive, the present perfect progressive. Please note we are doing the present tense. Now, in this we are saying perfect, so to have should be there, so there has to be have. And in the present form, since we are doing the present tense, so it has they have, which is coming for the perfect tense. Then ing or the present participle of ing, but you cannot say they have drawing good pictures. So you have to say they have been drawing good pictures. So look at the formula that you see here. There is the present form of to have, that is have. Past participle of to be, that is been, and you have drawing. Drawing is the present participle. Please note ing verbs, that is drawing, sitting, drinking, etc. They are the present participle of a verb. Drawn, read, uh, uh, flown away, flown, all these are the past participles. Okay, so here we are seeing there are two participles used in this perfect progressive. Naturally, perfect and progressive, no? So you have two participles also. One is the past participle of to be and the other one is the present participle of the verb, the original verb. Alright, now we will go on to see how this will look in the past tense. Okay, so now we have come to past tense and the same verb we will use. So you see here how it comes. Simple past tense would be they drew. Earlier it was they draw, now it will be they drew. So nothing else is coming, no attachments, nothing, no to be form, no to have form, nothing of any kind, simply the verb in its past form. Okay, they drew good pictures. Now let's see the next one, past progressive or past continuous. In this, if you see, now there are attachments coming. For progressive or continuous, you know that the to be form has to be used and the present participle, that is the ing verb. All right. Now, here if you see, there is the past form of to be, that is verb, w-e-r-e verb because it is they, plural. So, they were. And drawing is the present participle of the verb. So this remains continuous in all progressive tenses. It will always be present participle of the verb. Anything which has a progressive, when you say it is a progressive tense, there has to be ing. It will definitely be an ing verb. Okay, so since this is progressive, there is ing or drawing or present participle of the verb. So, progressive tense will definitely have the to be form and the present participle or the ing verb. Let's see the next one. We are going on to the perfect tense. Every perfect tense will have the to have form. Okay, the to have form and 100% past participle of the verb. Any perfect tense. Okay. Now the to have form will become had because it's a past tense, and then you don't have to think much because it's a past participle of the verb. So had drawn good pictures. Okay, that's the perfect tense, the past perfect tense. Now we go on to the last one. See, now here this there is both in it. Okay. Now, see, you have the perfect tense also and the progressive tense also. So, in this we have, the to satisfy the perfect tense, we have the, since it is past, it is to have form which becomes had. Okay, past of the to have, that is to, that is had. Then you see progressive. Okay, progressive, you have the present participle. I told you, whenever it is a progressive, you are going to use the present participle of the verb. But now, since we have perfect as well as progressive, we have to use the to be form. Here, what we are seeing is the to be has become past participle. Okay, it has become past participle of the to be form, okay, been. So, you have the to have form, which is in the past tense, 
then you have the past participle of to be and then you have the present participle simply because it is progressive. Okay, so this is the past perfect progressive tense. They had because it's perfect, drawing because it's progressive and you don't say they had drawing so you have to put the past participle of to be. Okay, now we shall see how the future tense would look. So, we have the first one, simple, I told you no attachments and because it is future, it will be will draw. Okay, will draw. Now, the next one is future, progressive or continuous tense. In this, you see here, they will definitely will be there because it is future tense and to be formed. So, will be. Okay, and why drawing? Because it is progressive and every progressive, again and again I am repeating, will take the present participle of the verb. Okay. Now we go, definitely we know where we are going. We are going to the perfect tense, the future perfect. Okay. Future therefore will have, perfect so have, hmm? will have and drawn is past participle. All progressives will take present participle of the verb and all perfect tenses will definitely take the past participle of the verb. So progressives take present participle of the verb that is ing verb and the perfect tense will always take the past participle of the verb. Finally, we have the Future perfect progressive, that is, they will have his future perfect, then drawing because progressive, you don't say will have drawing, so you have the past participle of been. All right, they will have been drawing good pictures. So, future form of to have, past participle of to be, and the present participle of the verb. So, you see, there is something common in all the progressives. And what is common in all the progressives? The present participle of the verb. The to be form changes with reference to the tense. In all the perfect tenses, you have the past participle of the verb. And in all the perfect progressives, we have the present participle of the verb because it's progressive. But there is also past participle which is seen in the to be form. Okay. Now we shall just tabulate and see how we can compare the tenses. Okay. We are putting it in a different perspective so that we understand better. Let's see the simple form. Now we are going across. Okay. Simple form of every verb. Present would be she sings. So past will be she sang. Simply see. No attachments. Future, she will sing. That's it. No attachments now. Now we are coming to progressive. Now again, I am reiterating it. I am telling you again and again that progressives will always take the present participle of the verb. Only the to be form changes according to the tense. So let's see now how it is. All right. So you can see here everywhere it is singing, singing, singing. Yes, present participle, but the to be form has become here is, here the to be form is was, and here the to be form is will be, because it is future. Now, we know about perfect tense. Perfect tense will always take not to be form, it will take the to have form. Perfect will always take the to have form, and I had tell, told you again and again, I am repeating, perfect tenses will take the past participle of the verb past participle of the verb. So you see here now, to have form has, she has sung. Sung is the past participle of sing. Next is she had. Okay, since it's a past tense, so to have changes the form. Had and this remains same, sung. And here she will have, okay, future form of to have. But the same past participle continues. Now let's come to perfect progressive. In perfect progressive again, since there is progressive, I've told you, definitely there will be the present participle of the verb. Okay. But and perfect bulato, there will definitely be to have. Okay. 
So here, she has been singing. Okay, she has been singing. All right. So has because it is perfect tense. Singing because it is progressive. And been is the past participle of to be. So you have here now both past participle and present participle. Past participle of to be and present participle of the verb. Here now you have, see here, been singing, been singing is same in all. The past participle and the present participle is same in all these tenses. Okay. So she had been singing. She will have been singing. Okay. Okay. Now what we are going to see is the formula for each of the 12 types of tenses. Okay. Now when we do this, what I want you to notice is what is common in all the tenses, in each of the tenses and what are the differences. So this is the slide that is going to tell us the commonalities and the differences between different types of tenses. So let's start off with how the present form or the past and the future look in the simple tense. Okay, so here as I told you, there are no additions, no attachments of any kind. The verb directly takes that particular form of the verb. It takes a form of the tense, all right? So here you have the present form. Directly the verb takes the present form. Directly the verb takes the past form. Directly the verb takes the future form. For example, draw, drew, will draw. All right, it will be that way. Now, let's see what happens in the progressive. In the progressive, I want you to appreciate this thing that now from here on the next three, the verb is not directly involved in changing with the tense. Okay, the verb is changing later, but who is changing as per the tense? The to be form. In the progressive, the to be form is used. Okay, so you have the present form of to be, you have the past form of to be, you have the future form of to be. The present form would be is or are, past form would be was or were, and future form of this would be will be. Okay, will be. But what is same in all three is the present participle of the verb, which means again and again I'm telling you that the ing verbs will be used. Singing, dancing, drawing, writing, calling, eating, all these ing verbs would be used. Okay, so definitely 100% here, the present participle of the verb in all three forms. So see, it is so easy to remember in progressive, the ing will be same for all, same for all. Only the to be will be changing. That's it. Now in the perfect tense, we have seen in the earlier examples, the to have form has to be there. So who is taking the tenses of this, the to have form? Now you see here, you have present form of to have, that is have or has. You have the past form of to have, that is had. Future form of to have, that is will have. But what is same in all three is the past participle of the verb is common to all. So whether it is present perfect, past perfect or future perfect. All will have the past participle of the verb that is drawn, sung, flown, written, not wrote, written. It's a participle form, past participle, okay? So, written, etc. All right. Now, we go on to the last one. In the last one, we will see, see. Now, again, the verb is not directly involved. You have the present form of to have. Okay, present form of to have because it is perfect. Okay, now when you have perfect, you have the to have form, past form of to have, future form of to have because it is a perfect tense. Okay, now since it is progressive, you will have the to be form and you will have the ing form. But here it is past participle of to be, past participle of to be and past particip participle of to be which means been. B-E-E-N in all three, it will be B-E-E-N. And 
also because it is progressive you have the ing form okay you will not have the past participle because past participle already taken by to be so now pa present participle will be taken by the verb okay so present participle of the verb so you see this now this table will help you to remember the common things and the differences between the tenses now we're going to see another example of how a verb takes on all these 12 tenses okay we have just seen the formulae now we are going to see how these formulae apply in the various tense forms okay so we'll now start off we'll see the first one in the simple form how it appears okay the children read these books the children read these books the children will read if you see the verb is taking the tense directly okay read okay this is read these books and this is will read these books okay now we'll see how the progressive in the progressive perfect and perfect progressive in all the next three the verb will not directly take the tense the tense will be taken by the to be form in progressive the to have form in the perfect and in the perfect since perfect is first the tense is taken by the first one that is the perfect one okay so let's start and see the progressive. Okay, the children are reading these books. The children were reading these books. The children will be reading. So if you see what is same in all, reading, reading, reading is the same in all. Okay, but that means it's a present participle used. Okay, reading. What changes is the to be form. The to be form is changing according to the tense. Okay, so this is are reading were reading and will be reading okay as per the tense now let's see what happens in the perfect tense in the perfect tense also if you see here here also it is the to have form which is taking the tenses so you have the children have read the book the children had read the book the children will have read these books so what do you notice? All are past participles of read. Okay. The read and all will have the past participle. It will take the past participle of the verb. But the to have form changes according to the tense. Okay. Now we see the last one. Here we are seeing. Okay. The to have form is changing according to the tense. So have, had, will have. Okay. If you see here, there are two participles as a past participle of to be and the present participle of the verb. It is common in all three. Been reading, been reading. Okay. Been reading is common in all three. So you don't have to think much when you're doing this per a perfect progressive tense. Okay. You have to only be careful if it is present, then you have to have have or has. If it is past, then you have to put had. If it is future, you'll have to put will have. But otherwise, been reading is common to all these three types. Okay. So, you have seen here with an example, you too can work out an example like this. May pre prepare a table like this. Work out this table like this and you will be able to understand it better. So, I hope you have understood all these tenses. So, thank you very much for your attention and happy learning the tenses. Okay. Thank you very much.